Hi all, good morning everyone. Welcome back to the new class. In the last class we are discussing the fraction chapter. Then so many units we are discussed. What are, do you remember that the uh, units? Did you learn about that? I hope you all learn all units. Kilogram, gram, then liter, milliliter. The next now we are discussing the another unit. Meter and centimeter. Did you see the meter scale? Textile shop or any any place? Did you see the meter scale? So we are measuring the cloth in the textile shop. You have measure running cloth. You are measuring that which is a meter scale. And you know that. Okay, that is the meter scale. That meter scale is equal to how many centimeter? It's a hundred centimeter. One meter scale is equal to what? 100 centimeter. So we can write 100 centimeter equal to 1 meter. 100 centimeter equal to 1 meter. 100 centimeter equal to 1 meter. We have a ruler. Ruler means scale. So 15 centimeter ruler, 30 centimeter ruler. Then so, so on, then we are, we can write 100 centimeter equal to 1 meter. Understood. Then next we are writing the 50 centimeter plus 50 centimeter. This also what 100 centimeter. So we can write 50. This is half of 100. Half of 100 centimeter. So 50 centimeter equal to half meter. Half meter. Then this 100 centimeter we are dividing into 2. 50 centimeter and 50 centimeter. Half plus half. So 50 centimeter equal to half meter. 50 means half of 100. Okay. Then we can write the 25 centimeter plus. 25 centimeter plus. 25 centimeter plus 25 centimeter. This is what? How many 25 centimeter? 4 centimeter. 4 25 centimeter. This is the 1 by 4 part of 100 centimeter. This is 1 by 4 meter. Then 1 25 centimeter equal to 1 by 4 meter. 50 centimeter equal to half meter. 25 centimeter equal to 1 by 4 meter. 4 meter means 1 by 4 part of 100 centimeter. Understood? This is called what? Quarter. This is what? A quarter. Next we are taking the 325 centimeter. What about the 325 centimeter? 25 plus 25? 50. 50 plus 25? 75 centimeter. So 75 centimeter equal to what? 3 by 4 part of 100 centimeter. Means 3 quarter. The last class we are discussing the 3 quarter. 3 quarter is 3 by 4. 3 into 1 by 4. 3 quarter. 3 into 1 by 4 means 3 by 4. Understood? Then let us conclude this one. How to write this? 100 centimeter equal to 1 meter. 50 centimeter equal to half meter. 25 centimeter equal to 1 by 4 meter. Then 75 centimeter equal to 3 by 4 meter. This is the conclusion of this unit. Okay, you should study 100 centimeter equal to 1 meter. 50 centimeter equal to half meter. Half of 100 centimeter. 25 centimeter equal to 1 by 4 meter. 1 by 4 part of 100 centimeter. 75 centimeter equal to 3 by 4. 3 quarter. 3 by 4 part of 100 centimeter. Now we are discussed the 3 units. Meter, centimeter, milliliter, liter, gram and kilogram. So you should study these all units. Now we are discussing the next problem. Then the find out the answers and the writing words and the multiplication form. Okay, then some questions are given. You have find out the answer first. 
Then we are writing that answer, writing words and writing multiplication form. Okay. Then the last class we are discussed about how to write in words, how to write in multiplication forms. Do you remember that? Okay, what is the first question? What is the total weight of the two pieces of pumpkin? Each weighing 250 gram. Two pieces of pumpkin. Each weight one. One piece is equal to how many gram? 250 grams. We want to find out two pieces of weight. Two pieces of pumpkin weight. Understand? But weight of one piece, 250 gram. Weight of one piece is 250 gram. The total weight of two piece of pumpkin. How to find out the total weight of two piece of pumpkin? 2 into 250. 2 into 250. Do you know the table? 2. Then you should. 250 into 2 equal to 202. 5 twos are 10. 1 is the carry over. 2 twos are 4 plus 1. 5. We got what? 500 gram. What is the two pieces of pumpkin weight? 500 gram. Then the last class we are study the units of grams and kilograms. 1000 gram equal to 1 kilogram. 500 gram equal to half kilogram. 250 gram equal to 1 by 4 kilogram. Do you remember that? So 500 gram means half, half kilogram. So, write in words. How to write in words? This uh, Then, 2 times of 250 grams. 2 times of 250 grams is 500 grams. This is writing words. Then, in multiplication form. How to write in multiplication? 2 times. Times means into. 2 into 250 gram equal to 500 gram. This is writing the multiplication form. Understood? How to write in words? 2 times of 250 gram is 500 gram. The multiplication, you don't write the gram here. You just write the number. 2 into 250 is equal to 500 in multiplication form. Understood. Then what about the second question? What if the weight is put in kilograms? How to write is grams in kilograms? We already discussed that. Do you remember? Then we got what? Uh, first of all we are writing the 250 gram. 250 gram equal to how many kilograms? 1 by 4 kilograms. Do you remember that the last class? So, we got 2 times of 250 grams. Then, 500 grams. So, we can write 500 gram equal to what? Half kilogram. We already learned this. 250 gram equal to 1 by 4 kilogram. 500 gram equal to 1 by 2 kilogram. So what is the weight of putting kilogram? Half kilogram. Then this question in writing words. How to write in words this? Uh, how to write in words? 2 times so 2 times 1 by 4 kilogram is half kilogram. How to write in words? 2 times of 1 by 4 kilogram is half kilogram. Then how to write the multiplication form? In kilogram how to write the multiplication? 2 into 1 by 4 equal to. How to write? 2 into 1 by 4 times means into. 2 into 1 by 4 equal to. 1 by 2. 2 into 1 by 4. Then 2, 2, 1 times. 2 how many times of? 2, how many 2 in 4? 2. Then we got what? 1, 1 sir. 1 by 2. Then we are getting 1 by 2. 
the writing words and the writing multiplication form. Understood how to write these problems. So, you first of all, you should study the units. You don't know the units, how to write these problems. So you can't write it. So, you should study the all units. Okay. Okay, now we are discussing the another problem. One cup can hold one by three liter of milk. How much milk can we pour in two cups? What is? One cup can hold one by three liter. We want to find out the two cups filled. We want how needed how, many, how much milk. Okay. Then first we are doing that. Yeah? Milk that can be filled in one cup. Then one cup can hold water. One cup can hold water. One by three liters. Then what about the two cups? Two cups can hold how much liters of milk? Two into one by three liters. So we can write that. 2 into 1 by write the same denominator 3. So 2 by 3 liters. L means the short form of liter. Liter. Okay. 1 cup can hold 1 by 3 liter. We want to find out 2 cups can hold how much milk. How much of milk. So we can write 2 into 1 by 3 liter. 2 into 1 write the same denominator. 2 by 3 liters. 2 cup can hold 2 by 3 liters of milk. Understood. Then how to write in words? In words. How to write these answers in words? Answer in words. 2 times of the Hindu means times. 2 times 1 by 3 liter is 2 by 3 liter. I am writing words. 2 times 1 by 3 liter is 2 by 3 liter. Understood. Then what about the multiplication form? Multiplication form how to write? 2 into 1 by 3 equal to 2 by 3. This we can write in multiplication form. Understood. First of all we have find out the answer. Then we can write this answer is in words and multiplication form. Then one more question is here. In four cups. In four cups. How to write in four cups? Then I not need, no need to enough space my board. So I wrap this up. Then what about the second question? In four cups. Then we already know that one cup has one by three liters. Then how to write the four cups? Then in four cups, in four cups we can write four into one by three liters. So we can write four into one by, write the same denominator, write four by three liters. In four cups can hold how much, how much liter of milk? Four by three liter of milk. Then we got the answer four by three liter. Then how to write these answers in words and multiplication form? How to write them? 4 times of 4 times of 1 by 3 liter is 4 by 3 liter. L is the short form of liters. How to write in words in this answer? 4 times of 1 by 3 liter is 4 by 3 liter. Understood. Then I write the multiplication forms. You just write the numbers only. 4 into 1 by 3 equal to 4 by 3. This is in the multiplication form. Understood all. In today's class we are discussing the three problems. Then first of all we have find out the answer. Then that answers we are writing words and multiplication form. Then also we are discussing one unit. Centimeter and a meter. So you do one thing. You should study the all units. Meter, centimeter, milliliter, liter and kilogram, grams. Understood all. 
then I hope you all are understood these problems. Then if you have any doubt, we are discussing our class now. Okay, children, let's stop our class now. Then we will catch up later.